Today we're going to be talking about the hymn, O oh God, Our Help in Ages Past. So who is the author of our text today? It's King David. Our song is based on Psalm 90, and the actual writer or rewriter of the psalm is one of my favorites, Isaac Watts. He just has such an amazing ability to take God's words and then with some literary devices and whatnot, make them very emotive, bring them to life for us, make them feel real in the moment. And um, again, Isaac Watts wrote the amazing hymn that we have, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross, which is my all-time favorite. But today we're going to talk about this text O oh God, our help in ages past. And just a couple of um, really notable places where this was sung, the first of which is on April 14th, 1912, according to passenger Archibald Gracie the Fourth. It was the last hymn sung at the church service, which was presided over by Captain Edward John Smith on the morning before the Titanic sank. So that's interesting and very sad. And then in 1941, it was also sung on board the HMS Prince of Wales at a religious service attended by Winston Churchill and Franklin Delano Roosevelt as a part of the conference creating the Atlantic Charter. So that moment was extremely important. And then again, the song was played over the radio by the BBC as soon as World War II was declared. And then finally, it was also sung at Winston Churchill's funeral. And then, um, so those were some kind of really somber or serious occasions for the hymn. And then Bing Crosby in 1951, he included the hymn on his album of beloved hymns, which it is. So I just wanted to read the words with you. And as I read the words, think of Isaac Watts sitting there reading Psalm 90 and then adapting God's words, King David's words, so that they could be singable, so that they would emote and gives us that ability to um, you know, just feel what maybe King David was feeling in those moments in his time. So here we are. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Under the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure Sufficient is thine arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame, from everlasting thou art God, to endless years the same. Thy word commands our flesh to dust. Return, ye sons of men, all nations rise from earth at first and turn to earth again. A thousand ages in thy sight are like an evening gone, short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. The busy tribes of flesh and blood with all their lives and cares are carried downwards by the flood and lost in following year. Time, like an ever rolling stream, bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. Like flower fields, the nation stand, pleased with the morning light. The flowers beneath the mower's hand lie withering ere tis night. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, be thou our guard while troubles last and our eternal home. 
So I encourage you to read Psalm 90 today. Open up your Bible and just read the beautiful words that King David wrote for us and then compare them with the text that Isaac Watts put forth for us so that we can sing this magnificent hymn. And I look forward to singing it with you this Sunday. See you then. Bye-bye.